Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am starting a new series. I am starting Warp Drive or Bust or something along those lines. If you have a better title, please suggest it. Now, uh, the idea here is I have a ton of mods, and we're going to do career mode. Uh, let's pick a nice flag. Let's do that. going to start that, and uh, we're going to ultimately aim to get to Warp Drive, but really... There's going to be a lot more things going on between then, because of course we're going to use the actual uh, interstellar tech tree. And I'm not going to fly like some gifted maniac that uh, can score, you know, 7,000 science on his first mission. Um, no, I'm going to try and actually fly like a sensible person with all these mods involved. The other thing I'm going to do is we're only going to use uh, the new guys, right? We're not going to use these three because I want to see everyone that I kill. There's going to be no editing. There's going to be no uh, go-backs. I want to see what happens and how quickly I get through my list of astronauts. Because it's funny. Um, death in Kerbal Space Program. It's a fact of life. I mean, of course... What we're going to do here is we get a, we have the basic equipment. We don't have any warp drive or anything right away. We do have heat shield because we have deadly re-entry. We have a lithium tank. I'm not sure what I can do with that. Normally, I guess what I would do is, is like stick this on with a parachute and, you know, I don't know, maybe a communitron. I'm not sure what I would actually do with the communitron. I guess I can stick one there and transmit some scientific data if thing goes, things go wrong. And obviously, stick the engine on here and switch the crew over. We don't want these guys here. Jebediah Kerman is well known around these circles, but you know what? His, uh, his time has not yet come. Yogur Kerman! Yogur Kerman, you are to be the one to take this first brave step upwards on top of this um, untested vehicle. I know we could have done an unmanned launch in theory, but we don't actually have the technology, so you're going to have to fly this on your own. Are you ready? Three, two, one. And we have liftoff of the first Kerbal Adventurer heading skywards propelled by 25 tons of force pushing against this tiny capsule, accelerating it up to twice the speed of sound before it has even broken the 10 kilometer mark. We are starting to heat up a little. We are getting some sort of heating going on here. Wait, whoa, wait a second. Deadly re-entry strikes again. Uh-oh. Um, Joker. You might have a problem here. Uh, do you want to do an EVA report? Yeah, you know what? You should really get back inside the capsule. But honestly, your only chance to survive is to head this way. Maybe you can, but I doubt it. We are in trouble. And we're just going to actually use physical time acceleration because we need to try and... Save as little time for you guys as possible. Joker Kerman is abandoning his capsule knowing that if it were to land in the ocean without a parachute, it would mean certain death. Oh, he's getting some serious height up here as well. Can he do another EVA report? No, I can't. I can't, I can't have two EVA reports. Actually, yeah, we want to discard data. I want to do an EVA report. Excellent. You've recorded your... whatever, keep the data. There's a minor chance that you might actually bounce, but I doubt it. Here we go, up, and down, and then deadly re-entrying. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Yes, come on, assume the re-entry position. Whatever your name is. Yogur! Yeah, okay. Well, that was not the most illustrious start to our program. Let us, uh, let's go back to the space center and find our next victim. Okay, we are back at the station, and uh, yes, we shall pay a visit 
to um to the astronaut complex yoga kerman missing in action last seen descending over the kerbal continent at a speed higher than his suit was designed for well we shall have to continue and hit to keep his memory alive we must continue in our quest to uh discover the secrets of warp drive clearly having um, a solid fuel booster is a bad plan because it means that we hit the we travel through the atmosphere too fast. So perhaps if I uh, put a liquid fueled engine on here, and that will actually let us fit a couple of communitrons on. So uh, by doing putting a couple of communitrons on the site, it does mean that we'll actually be able to perform some, you know, reports and science before the spacecraft is inevitably destroyed. I mean before the crew lands, right? Okay, so Jebediah, you're going away. Dildred! You are the next victim. Let's launch and see what happens. Okay, well, uh, hopefully the media didn't look too closely at the payload uh, and we <laughs> didn't call into question too much of our capabilities. No, because we can't, we can't deal with that kind of negative press at this time. Well, here we go. Dildred, are you ready? Uh, you know what? Let's do a crew report from the launch pad. Yes, transmit this, and off we go. Hey, and look at that! You're even going even faster than that uh, other guy. You know what? You are going to keep your velocity lower this time. Because, you know what? I think it was the speed that killed him. The speed of exiting through the atmosphere... Okay, a hundred and something. That should be doing just fine. Oh, look, we didn't even get high enough for it to matter. Well, Dildred, what are you going to do now? We're going to do another crew report. Set scientific value 3.5. Yes, keep that data. Excellent. Now, if we just go a little faster, we can probably do an EVA report at Apple Apps. Here we go. We're going to do EVA... EVA report and get back inside. So he keeps that data. And uh, also, for 15 kilometers up, let's actually fire the parachute so that it will slow our descent and bring Dildred back to Earth with a little more safety. Either that or destroy the spacecraft and kill him. But uh, that's that's to be determined. We, all, we don't think that's going to happen. Otherwise, we wouldn't send you up there, right? Okay, that's an interesting angle. Is that for reals? Why Why is it going this way? So yeah, we've obviously... What? Why is he moving sideways? What? How is that happening aerodynamically? This is not what I would expect to happen. Ferrum Aerospace is supposed to improve the aerodynamics, but I did not quite expect this seems to be slipping sideways it's not like there's a it's not like this is involved or anything like let, let's stick you just vertically right we can like <laughs> wonder what maybe with a bit of work i can land it back at the there we'll do that t t hold hold still there maybe i can make him slide that way a little uh actually no i need to make him slide that way that's that's it point that way point north let's see if we can aim you at the landing the launch pad Look at that, sliding sideways, using the natural aerodynamics of this vehicle. <laughs> I totally did not expect this to happen. Uh, and, oh, there we go. Look, we're gonna like land on top of the runway. Clearly he wants to be an aircraft pilot. And we'll just bring ourselves down rather more quickly using time acceleration. And we'll cut out at the last minute. There we go, Dildred. Ah! There, and you only slightly broke the rocket. We will uh, be taking that out of your paycheck, of course. Can you do an EVA report from up there? Yes, it is a most precarious situation. You are going to lose some uh, pay over this. Oh, bored anyways. Sure. Let's get back out again. EVA, get down. I don't think you're getting back into that. Now, we need a, a surface sample from here, an EVA report from here. Yes, of course it wasn't necessary, and we're going to plant a flag. 
I think, you know, for safety reasons, we shall not be planting flags on the runway. It would be rather unfortunate. Let's run off to the side and put a flag here. Just to commemorate where our first successful space mission landed. You're a hero, you realise that? Well, actually, technically it wasn't a space mission because you didn't actually go to space. Keep that. And uh, do another EVA report. Uh, yes, I'll overwrite that report. Yes, keep that. And plant a flag. Our first successful mission. It didn't go very far. We wanted to go to space or even to the stars. That's a terrible song and I shall never sing it again. Success. Op. Success. Cessus, Cessus, yes. Okay. Dildred, you are returning as a hero. Your vessel is recovered and you are added to the annals of successful astronauts. We have gained 12 science, but furthermore, we are going to go back to the... to this um, first mission. We're going to go here and recover this. We're going to go back to the tracking station and we're going to end up another 27... Wow, we are practically filling up on science at a rate unheard of in the previous mission, which uh, managed to garner a grand total of zero science. At least that's how much it brought back. So, of course, we can unlock all these new features, the KW rocketry parts as well. The, the decouplers, which will help us, you know, separate capsules and stuff. And for 15 science, we can buy ourselves some more parachutes, which will be nice. Or we could buy some wings for steering. Uh, wings or parachutes. Oh, we have landing legs here as well. I, I'm personally going to go with the wings for stability reasons, because then we can pretend that we can build aircraft. Because uh, actually stability is very important. Okay. So now I think we can do a legitimate suborbital hop, right? We need to take this apart and actually send it up that way. So first thing we can do, okay, we still only have this engine. So this will be our, you know, what, what we'll do is stick this here. We'll, now we need to add our experiments, actually. That's the first thing. Mystery Goo Containment Unit couple of these on there. We'll have it stick it like that so it looks kind of stylish or whatever. Stick a heat shield on there, of course, to protect it from the rigors of re-entry. And one of these decouplers so that we can detach the rest of the rocket and not go headfirst into the atmosphere at ridiculous speeds. Because apparently that is not good. This will be a small suborbital vehicle, really just trying to get a report from the edge of space so that we can actually justify ourselves having a space program. And we'll put like a solid fuel booster under here. And where's those wings? We, we paid for those wings. We better use those wings, right? Uh, there we go. Will this be stable? I don't know about that. Let's stick some wings on this as well. Eh, more wings should be more stable. -er 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 -er. And here we go. Oh no, we gotta change out our crew. Our crew has to, can't be this Jebediah dude. No, he is the. He is now retired. We Dildred did his business. Now Sidzi is is up next. So we're gonna go up higher than ever before. We are going to leave the cloak of this atmosphere. We are going to really need that spacesuit, finally. And throttle up and go! Oh, God, it doesn't seem to move nearly as fast this time, does it? Look, there's our first mission. Where should we? We shall head to... Well, I'm gonna try turning to the left just a little. But that, uh, not happening so fast. Let's, uh, get some observations of this mystery goo. It jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies, but we can't actually transmit the data yet because we're going to run out of power. There we go. Jettison that. Fire up this. Oh, crap. Not good. Something wrong in my staging there. Uh, observe more goo. Because we're not going to get very high here. It jiggles and wobbles. 
and wiggles and waddles. The shores look inviting as you watch the waves roll in. Excellent. Okay. Well, so much for that. Um, keep data. I guess I should fire the parachute because that's practically all that else I've got left to do. Not sure quite how that happened. There is the full stage just flying away there. Heading off in shame into the distance because it forgot to fire. Yes, that's right. You go and sit in your corner, you stage you. I don't know who designed you, but you are a disgrace to the space program and should not be fly allowed to fly on this mission. Oh, yeah, okay, let's uh, we'll observe the mystery goo once we've landed at the space center. Okay. Come down. We still have the heat shield attached as well. That will be protecting us from the rigors of hitting the ground at almost 10 meters per second. And... Touchdown! Bang. There, excellent. Let's uh, do a, a mystery goo experiment. The goo seems bored. Well, we're going to keep that data. And uh, you're going to EVA and do another EVA report, right? EVA! 0.5. Well, we can keep that nevertheless. And we'll take another subsurface sample. 2.3! That's worth not zero. And we're going to plant the flag. The flag message shall be check your staging. Check yo staging oh dear one small step wasn't far enough he shall go back to the astronaut core in shame having failed to uh, go quite as far as he expected well, as Sidze has recovered, we uh, go back to the Space Center and we find out we get a grand total of 19 science, which uh, is rather shameful, but nevertheless, it shall continue to... We shall continue to use this to unlock some features, and we really want the survivability stuff here. That will help us in future missions, but of course, that will be in future episodes. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.